a spiral herb garden is really a very functional, convenient, easy way for any homeowner uh, to have a, a beautiful herb garden, very attractive herb garden in their backyard. Um, it's about two yards in diameter, maybe a yard high. It doesn't require a lot of space. It's compact. It's it's uh, it's attractive, um, and really you can put any herbs in that you uh, that you like. What we've tried to do here is put herbs that generally would have been used by colonial in the colonial times, but but not exclusively. And you certainly don't don't have to do that. Some of these are very edible, um, and then others are for uh, for different purposes. A spiral herb garden has microclimates in it. So at the top, it's going to be sunny and dry. So you have things like thyme, rosemary, lavender, sage. You could put, you could put oregano in here um, that require very little moisture and a lot of sun. And as you come around and get lower in the garden, basil, uh, we have basil over here. I think we have some dill, parsley. And coming around to this side where we have chives. So the lowest point in the garden and on the north side, you would put things that require less moisture and less, uh, and less sun. You can even, if you wanted to, have a, uh, at, the, at the end of the garden, have a little pool, a frog pond, uh, where there would even be uh, more moisture. A couple of other things we have in here, comfrey and calendula, and those really were used in colonial times for medicinal purposes. Some people may still do, use them now for ointments or for teas, uh, but most people don't nowadays. These were all stones that we found here at Hamanasset. You can, you can buy bricks. You can really do it with any kind of stone you want. Stone is probably the best. It, it absorbs the heat during the day and retains the heat at night. So it, it's probably the best thing to use, but really any kind of stone uh, can be used. 